Now, why do you have to have a 800 number? You know, you don't have to have it, but lenders perceive that 800 number as a sign of business credibility. So is it nice to have? Is it nice to give that lender that warm, fuzzy blanket? Absolutely. So even if you're a single owner with a home-based business, toll-free numbers provides that perception, right? That comfort that you are an even bigger company than what is already perceived, okay? And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the power of perception. You see, it's incredibly easy, right? To, and inexpensive, inexpensive to set up a virtual local phone number or even a toll-free 800 number. So that's what we want to do, all right? We want to make sure that's set up. Um, a cell or a home phone number is your main business line could get you flagged as an unestablished business that's too high of a risk. And so for those of you that are trying to be cheap on the lenders, right, and that are trying to be cheap on those that are trying to look into uh, your business and they're trying to give you this money and they want to give you this money. That's how they make money. They give money. Huh? Listen, it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. Absolutely. What was he talking about? Huh? He was talking about lending. That's why he said you got to be a lender. All right, let me get off that soapbox, man. We only got a little bit of time. I do apologize for that. Don't give a personal cell phone or residential phone as the business phone number, folks. A lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times, um, being cheap is expensive, all right? So we don't want to learn that lesson. We want to make sure that we're doing these things correctly so that we get the business credit that your business deserves. And, of course, you can forward a virtual number as well, all right? So it's all about the perception of the lenders. What is the lender going to perceive your business as? Even if you are not profitable, it's so important to put up the facade, okay? To put up the face. That's that's the root word of facade. Face. Face value, all right? And not only that, it's not a facade if you're truly trying to be a legitimate business, right? If you're a legitimate business and you're willing to do what it takes to get there, if you're willing to give that initial capital up front to make sure your name is good, then they're going to invest in you and you're going to be glad that you invested in your business, all right? So the lenders perceive a credible business as one with a fax number. So as a business, you're gonna need a fax number to receive important documents documents and you'll also need to need it to fax in uh, some of your credit applications as well all those credit applications uh, that come towards you now you can set up an e-fax that goes directly to your email and that's very helpful right uh, credit providers will Research your company on the internet, right? So you got to have, well, I mean, you don't have to have uh, an internet presence, but does it help? Does it give them that warm, fuzzy blanket? Yes, it does. You see, it's best if they learned everything directly from your company website, right? So not having a, web, a company website will severely hurt uh, their chances of obtaining uh, business credit, all right? So, folks, I just want to make sure that we are just, I, I want to I show you something right now, okay? I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you something right now, all right? Let's just go here. Let's just go there, and we'll show you what my company website looks like. Look at look at that, huh? Listen to this. Look at this. Look at this. This is what we want you to do. We want you to have a legitimate meet the founder. Are they going to find somebody else? No, they're going to find me. All right. That's what we mean, folks. All right. That's what we mean. So, please, please, please. Get that company website up. So not having a company website, that's going to severely hurt uh, your chances of obtaining that business credit because they're going to wonder, man, who is this girl? Who is this guy that's trying to come up in here and take our money? And they don't even have a website. All right. Now, there's many places online that offer affordable business websites. All right. One of them, uh, I can hook you up with the one that I use. Right. So you can have an Internet presence that displays an overview of your company's services and contact information. Uh, I actually have mine made for me and it's very, very low in price. Very low, 